So far in three weeks in Mozambique, we've lost our license plate, snorkeled with wild dolphins, scuba dived with Gozozo, camped in someone's driveway, tried to get into beach running, and camped out with the Boone family. It's been pretty f***ing epic. This week we explore the Maputo Special Reserve a lot more, get seriously lost on some extremely remote roads, find our amazing semi-wild wild camping spot, and say goodbye to the awesome Boone. I hope you love the episode and don't forget to hit that like button and sub to the channel if you do. We had a relatively early start this morning, 6.30, so we've packed up camp, everything's back in the vehicles, and we're going to go see if we can wild camp a little bit. Not truly wild camp, but basically wild camp sites that are getting set up within the reserve, but the cool thing is that we'll be the first people ever to use them, so that's pretty exciting. Before we do that, we need to find signals so I can see if I can fix my drone, because it would really suck not to be able to use that. found a really incredible spot to have a cup of coffee and some breakfast also thought we got cell phone signal but it seems like even though it's showing signal it's not even good enough to send a whatsapp look how beautiful the spot is that's the whole reserve back there with all the lakes and then there's the sea So we've had some breakfast and some coffee and we're going to get back on the road and see if we can find that wild camping spot. One last look at this incredible landscape here. We're going to be taking that little road that goes there and up there and then all the way down there. And tonight we'll be camping down there over that horizon which is pretty exciting. Loving Mozambique, loving the Maputo Special Reserve. It's absolutely spectacular. And we haven't found the infamous Mozambican elephants yet, but hopefully we'll find them. And they're leaving us today, how rude. Tomorrow, they're leaving us tomorrow, how rude. How rude. We got a one last incredible ride. Is Anna driving? Anna, can I see your license? So we are definitely a little bit lost in Africa. We're trying to find a road to the right. But it's like jungle and swamp and roads that have not been driven in a very long time. <laughs> I love this though. This is, we feel like we're real explorers and for a change we actually have a vehicle behind us so it's somewhat less responsible or somewhat more responsible than it normally is it's less irresponsible than it normally is here comes the landing I think we may have found our road. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, and the landing did well behind us again. So yeah, having a lot of fun. Look at that view behind the anchor. <laughs> From pushing through all that bush and long grass, we picked up a passenger. Tiny little stowaway. Whoa. <laughs> he hops. Definitely doesn't hop in the window. We safely got the little guy off before moving on. <laughs> so the road I thought we were following seems to lead 
straight into that swamp and as much as we've done quite a bit of swamp driving in the past with Jabari we are going to try and avoid it wherever possible doesn't really look like it's much of a road anymore so there's also an elephant reserve and we saw the first elephant tracks we've seen since we've been in here um, I think they probably stick more to the inland areas and that's the coastal area where we've been so that could explain why we haven't seen any holding times we find some hopefully not while I'm on foot busy exploring where the road goes <laughs> Is this a road? Anyone feel like this is a road? I think we'll have to... Oh, I can smell elephant. Oh, you can definitely smell Ellie's. <laughs> Notice how I turned around as I could smell elephants. Oh yeah, there's elephant down. That's not fresh though. You can see that's been broken down by beetles already, but that's probably what I could smell as well. So there's a path north, there's meant to be a road north, can you smell elephant? Yeah, there's elephant dung around as well. Yeah, there's elephant dung just down there. So the road's meant to go north, there's not much of a track there. Should we, should we double back? So Tracks Africa shows the track going north. This one? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But it looks like it goes straight through that swamp. So we're debating whether to chance the road that runs along the edge of the swamp or to double back past our breakfast spot. I, I hate it to double back and do the same route. Mm -hmm. I hate it when we get stuck. <laughs> too fast. Yeah. yeah. But you were walking there, it's wet. It's not wet there, but I didn't walk the whole thing because then I started to smell elephants. So I turned around. Oh. I was only down there. <laughs> <laughs> Should let Bianca make the deciding choice. Follow that road or turn around and go back? But that road's in the swamp. No, it goes to the right of the swamp. In that road? Where did you walk it? Wait. Not the whole way because it started to smell like elephants. But then we should go. So I was like, no chance. <laughs> Should we try? Yeah, if, there, if there's water then we come back. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try it. Hold thumbs. That's the face of uncertainty right there. <laughs> so we we definitely are on a track that was intended for cars i'm not sure the last time it was used um, and there's a lot of elephant tracks around here so i'm hoping we find them hopefully we don't bump into them on one of those mean low range four wheel drive sand dune kind of hills because then you don't have much choice but to go forward uh but yeah this is exciting this is an adventure that's for sure So we're literally chopping our way through the bush here. So not 100% sure if it's a good idea. What if it gets worse though, bum? Are you gonna reverse? Let's just check quickly. What do you think? Shall we take the branches? Uh... Yeah, are we gonna just keep on bashing our way through? Should we walk a little bit down the track and see if it gets any better? Because if it stays yeah, like this, then it's, so it's going to take us... You, you, you can turn here. We, maybe just... So a little bit further, yeah, there's definitely a gap here that we could turn in. And probably at the bottom there. Oh, yeah. We could turn. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely turn around. So should we just do that? Um, I think uh, the unknown's a bit daunting, especially with elephants. And especially because they're apparently quite aggressive elephants. Yeah, they come out of the yeah, they come just charging out. 
<laughs> now you can say I told you so. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never listen to me. <laughs> I think after this track the car will be shine that nice. Yeah, cars, cars are made not to shine. 4x4 four four, certainly. Pulling branches out of the way for everyone to get through. There goes Jabari. There goes the Boone family. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I think ready the branch go. <laughs> Nadine, what do you think? I think this is awesome. Are we lost in Africa? <laughs> 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 We're having a lot of fun. Uh, that shiny eye camper of ours is definitely not so shiny anymore. Hopefully the photos that we already have of it are good enough. But we're using it for what it's meant to be used for. We are exploring to the extreme in the middle of Africa. I don't think anyone has driven on this road for absolutely months. So it's super cool, lots of fun, absolutely love it. Let's show you some of the amazing terrain that we made our way back through while retracing our steps. Having spent the morning playing, we were a bit behind time and started heading towards our camping spot for the night. With no signal and bad planning on our behalf, we only had a vague idea of where to go and the shot of Brian showing us when we first arrived. I think the camera does it any justice, to be completely honest. Um, shots like this that I really wish I had the drone working for. We have managed to get some cell phone signal, so I'm gonna see if I can try and fix the drone tonight. I'm really not adept at electronics, but I'm gonna try my best because uh, spots like this deserve a drone shot. Especially since we have special permission to use the drone in the reserve. So it would really suck if I can't get it working. Um, but worst case scenario, we are back in Johannesburg for a week before we head north up Mozambique, so we can get it fixed then. Amazing. Wow, hey Ed. We're gonna miss the Boone family when they leave us tomorrow. It's been a great adventure. <laughs> it was lots of fun though. And the eye camper is more scratched than it was. It's definitely not as shiny as it used to be. <laughs> But we always consider bush stripes to be a bit of a mark of honor. It's not a bad thing to have a couple of bush scratches down a vehicle that looks like this. Otherwise, it's just for posing. And Jabari is definitely not just for posing. But yeah, let's get back on the road. We want to go try find our wild camping spot for the night and we'll get set up and then we can go for a game drive this afternoon and see if we can find those mysterious elephants.
that we're lost in the forest a little bit. So I kind of know where we are relative to the main road. So we're gonna head back to the main road and see if we can head towards the wild camp from a different direction. That road might be a little bit more clearly marked, um, but we're not sure. And it is all very, very tight and low range four wheel drive stuff. So certainly not short on adventure. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm the only one with the map and everyone's following my lead. And that's daunting because I'm not that good with maps. So I think I found the right road. We found the road north. So we're just watching on the GPS to see how far until we get to the wild camp. If that doesn't work out, then I'm not sure. Then we might actually have to wild camp because technically if this is an established campsite of any kind, even if it's a pretty wild one, it's not wild camping. Um, so, if we can't find this wild camp campsite, we might just have to wild camp. <laughs> I got Bianca to laugh. And the terrain is so beautiful, very low animal density. There are quite a few small antelope, we saw some Niala just now, which is awesome. Loads of red dacre, which are really great, I think they're beautiful, but they're so shy, they run away, so you can never get a photo of them. But yeah, hopefully we have got... 3.1 kilometers to our campsite and we can set up and relax a little bit have a tip of tinto and a dodge jam <laughs> I think that was that was more luck than anything else wow, wow. <laughs> Wow, the view is quite something here. Huh? It's a bucket shower. So it's literally just a shower head on a bucket. So we'll fill that up with some water. We can have a cold shower just now, which will be, which will be great after the drive we've just had. <laughs> How's that view though? And then here's the bathroom. There's the toilet. Is there anything in it? Just spider webs, long drop. Not super luxurious, but if you need a poop, it's better than digging a hole. There's Jabari's new best friend. A little bit rustic, but that's awesome. I'm gonna see if we can get the cars in and then try and get them nice and level. That is a very strange looking animal. Keep going. It's turned into a pretty long day. <laughs> you can see I'm covered in a bit of muck, um, but it was worth it. We've got a really cool little wild camp set up. I'll show you guys the campsite now. The drone surgery was unsuccessful, unfortunately. It's a tiny little plastic component, um, and if I, if I had a spare, it would be seconds to replace, but um, I don't have a spare, unfortunately. So we may have to go into Maputo, which is not the plan, but hey, life goes on. We've got a cool little campsite. We're having a little braai. We're gonna have a sundowner now. See this Dubai with our beautiful eye camper set up on the roof. Look at that. He has the Boone family home. Mind that your house is immaculate as always. As always. My house, yes. Beautiful. Here, it's so easy. And over here, we have a little campfire set up. We dug a hole to be safe. I'm just cooking some borovol so we don't need a huge fire. Some tables and chairs and a hammock. Everything you need. We settled in for a great last night with the Boone family in such a beautiful, remote and wild spot. In the morning, it was time to set off again. We were starting to have big issues with our second battery that I needed to figure out. But first, we obviously had to head to the gate with the Boones to see them off. Oh no! Oh 
on camera. Your lens is dirty. <laughs> So that brings an end to our semi-wild camping experience with the Boone family, which is awesome. Um, it's also going to be the time for us to part ways, which really sucks because we got used to having them around and um, they're super cool. But wish them the best in the rest of their journey and hopefully we can meet up in Malawi or Zambia or somewhere further up north. What happened with the Lani there? Bit of a bit of a bit of a power problem. Uh, let's say it was a bit cold <laughs> and uh, some guy dig holes to equal as <laughs> yeah, yeah. but fortunately uh, no, that's not that <laughs>